Hey, thank you for joining me today. I'm so excited to review this beer today. Um, as you all know, I watch beer reviewers on YouTube. And one of my favorites that I watch, uh, his channel is called Louisiana Beer Reviews. He's in Louisiana. And uh, there's a beer from Louisiana called Abita. I've reviewed their party pack before. Fantabulous beers. Well, I saw him do a beer. And uh, as soon as I saw the title of it, I knew I had to try it. Well, guess what? I got it, and I'm looking forward to it. So, Scylla, why don't you say my name so I can get down to the nuts and bolts of this review? Ladies and gentlemen, Brian the Beer Snob. I am so excited. Let me tell you, when you're a kid, I mean, is there anything better than a peanut butter and jelly sandwich? I don't know. Maybe there is, maybe there isn't. But I'll tell you what, as a kid, I loved them. As an adult, I still eat them. And I love, when I make one, to put a lot of jelly and a lot of peanut butter on there. I want to taste it. Well, guess what? A beta has a limited series PB and Jams right here. 8% alcohol. This is an imperial peanut butter and jelly sandwich. That's fantastic. Well, guess what? I'm a little hungry and a little thirsty. I hope this is the meal in the glass that I'm really predicting it's going to be. So, oh, let's see. I'll use my scofflaw. I don't, I don't have any Abita glasses, so I gotta use my scofflaw glass. Oh, look at this. Brewed with spring water. All right. You hear that? It's a sound you don't hear if you pour it down the side of the glass, people, I'm telling you. There's nothing at all wrong with a big head. I know a lot of reviewers, that's part of their thing, is telling you how many finger head they got. Well, in a hardcore pub, you're always going to get more fingers than you got on your hand because it's the hardcore pub. We pour them hard. Well, we don't. I do. But when I have guests here, I make them pour it hard too because I'm trying to dispel the myth that if you pour it hard, you're going to lose all the carbonation and it's going to be a flat beer. That is totally not what's going to happen. Man, when you pour it hard, you're really agitating that beer. You're releasing a lot of aromas. Ah, uh, you know what that smells like? Man, there is no way in the world that that is going to be a bad tasting beer. I'm telling you what. Listen, all you adult viewers out there, go back to your childhood. If you haven't had a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, in a long time, if it's been years, if it's been decades, man, do yourself a favor. Go get you a loaf of bread, go get you some peanut butter, and go get you some jelly, and go to town. Because I'm telling you, you will not regret it. Mmm. This thing just looks beautiful. And it smells heavenly. It's, un oh, man. I can't hold off anymore. I gotta get this on my tongue so I can see what it's all about. Cheers. You know what that tastes like? That tastes like I just swallowed a bite of peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Oh. <coughs> no peanut allergies here. I'm going in for another. Mm. Trying to hold the beer in my mouth, on my tongue, so I can soak in those flavors. Got those carbonation bubbles biting at my tongue. But it's when you swallow it. You swallow it. And that peanut butter and jelly aftertaste just starts coming up the back of your throat. And it's like, woo! I love it! 
a beta. Don't let this be a limited series. Keep this coming. Man. 8% by volume. It's up there. It is up there. As good as this tastes, and as much I'd like to say, I'd like to have a few of these. I couldn't do it. 8% alcohol, but I guarantee you by the time I finish this glass here, I will be feeling loopy. If you're used to drinking lower ABV beers, you know, 4%, maybe 5%, I'm telling you, an 8% beer is different. You might think, oh, it's only 3%. No. Well, you drink one. Let me know how you feel. You're going to feel it. Then if you go into like the, like the KBSs, you know, that are 10, 12%, I'm telling you, one bottle, it's all I need. Puts me there, I don't need any more. That's where the, the price comes in. So you're not going to get a 10% ABV beer for, you know, a six, you know, well, usually I think those like come in four packs, but, you know, you spend $20 on a four pack of 10% ABV beer, or you spend Geez, I don't even know what a 12 pack of, of a light beer costs now because I haven't bought that in, in a long time. But let's just say it's $10 for a 12 pack. So you spent half as much money on the 12 pack as you did for the 4 pack. But I guarantee you, you can drink that 12 pack. And if that's your drink of choice, you can drink all 12 of them. And you might feel as goofy as if you drank one of the 10% ABV beers. Drinking a beer that's not your normal beer, I have found, and I, I don't really have a usual beer anymore because I'm a beer reviewer, I'm always trying different beers. And one thing I can say is that if you have a usual beer, your body's gonna get used to that. So, like I say, if you Bud Light drinker, you're not gonna drink one Bud Light and feel the alcohol. You're not gonna, if that's your beer of choice, you're not going to feel it. You might have to drink five or six before you start feeling it. You might have to drink eight or ten before you start feeling it. But if you go away from your comfort zone and try a beer that you don't drink, and it's 5% alcohol, you'll feel it faster. That's been my experience. You'll feel it faster. And since I'm always trying something new, my body doesn't have a chance to get used to any particular beer. So. Usually, after one glass, I can feel it. Which means, it gets you where you want to be for cheaper. So I say, a four pack for $20, that's $5 a beer. Which, if you go out to a bar or a restaurant, that's close to what you're going to be paying there anyway for a beer. You'll feel it, you won't have to have another one. You drink what you usually drink, lower ABV, you're going to have to buy more and more. So when does it become, you know, for what you pay and what you get? Yes, you're paying more and getting less in quantity, but you're getting more in alcohol, whereas the, the cheaper ones, still, even if you go to a bar, restaurant, and order a, a domestic beer, they're still going to get you, you know, three or four dollars for it. You're going to drink it? feel nothing. Order another one. Drink it. Feel nothing. Order another one. So, now you spent $8, $12 to finally start feeling it. You could have just spent $5 on the 10% and you'd felt it from the first one. So I'm trying to say. One of my favorite YouTube I'm throwing shout outs all over the place. Guy up in Canada. Beers for breakfast. Facts for snacks. He will tell you, his, his like tagline is, try something different. Not meaning to steal your line, Drew, steering people in your direction. Go check him out. I'm all about what he's saying, try something different. Because that's all I do on this channel is try something different. I don't know if I'm going to like it, I don't know if I'm going to hate it, but you know what, it doesn't matter. I'm going to try it and find out for myself. That's what he wants you to do. Hey, I agree with him. Go check out his channel, Beers for Breakfast, Facts for Snacks, and I'll tell you what, this is fantastic. I'm glad I tried it. Not my usual thing. I tried it. I love it. And I'm happy about it. So thanks for stopping by. And I'll see you 
next time. Till then. Mm. PB and jams. <laughs>